Witches may seem scary or spooky to some, but did you know the First Amendment safeguards their enchanting activities? From hand fasting to high magic, these Wicca practices are considered a religion, just like Christianity and Hinduism. Wicca is a decentralized form of worship, which means there's no one authority that makes the rules. While some Wiccans focus on venerating one god, others venerate multiple gods, and some don't use the language of god at all. Wiccan rituals vary widely among different communities, but usually center around the natural world, such as their celebration of the eight Sabbaths, eight festivals marking the passing of the seasons. The Wicca community is small and to this day remains very much misunderstood. Many people still hold the inaccurate belief that Wicca is a form of devil worship and actively harass and bully Wiccans during public gatherings, and some confrontations have even turned dangerous. This is where the First Amendment comes in. Our courts first recognized the Church of Wicca as a constitutionally protected religion in Detmer v. Landon in 1985. And since then, there have been numerous cases where the First Amendment protected Wiccans' freedom to exercise religion, such as the right to wear religious dress in public schools or have Wiccan symbols on gravestones. So the next time you encounter a Wiccan, know that their rituals are protected by the First Amendment, a uniquely American protection that affords everyone the right to worship their own way.